I'm just showing you birds. Um, when I first started making cues, um, I found birds were a problem because they were very bitty and used to break easy. Uh, and I, I, I had to figure out a way to work them without them breaking. And you're talking a long time ago, about 30 years ago I discovered this. Um, what I started doing was um, I put varnish on them and I let it soak right in and I kept on putting lots and lots of varnish on them. Uh, and basically all you do is if you're watching is you pour, this is my own French polish that I make myself which I'll, I'm going to show you how to do at some point. And then all you do is spread it round on the, on the on this and let it soak in. This is about the sixth coat I've put on here uh, and that soaks right into the wood and then when you start working it, it keeps it binding to, to, together, it keeps the wood all bound, bound together and it's easier to work with so the wood doesn't split when you're working with it but you've got to let it soak in. Um, Martin Daly uh, he he does it this way now since I, I, he learned off me how to do it and he what he's got now because he's he's got a vat and he just chucks the burr in there lets it soak right through and then and then uh, takes it out and uses it um, this is just a way of making a burr easy to work with because um, burr is like I say is very bitty and you know basically this is how to work it right. Hi there, um, what I'm going to do now is show you that you can take slight bumps out of cues. What I'm going to do is put a little ding in this cue with a hammer. Right. Yeah, that's just a little one, but I'll try and get a bigger one. So, there we are. Right. No. what I'm going to do is show you how to steam the bump out. You, hook, you heat the iron up, okay, then you get a tea towel and you soak the tea towel and make it not dripping wet but wet, okay. Then what you do is you put the damp cloth across across the bump, okay. No, I need both hands, so I'm going to have to put this down, okay. <clears throat> So there's a damp cloth of other things. So all you do is put the iron on, roll it back and forward. Let's steam the bloody camera up. Okay. There you go. The bump, the ding that I put in is nearly out. There's just a slight little mark. So there's another mark for that. It's a slight little mark. So what I'll do is I'll go over it again. Now there's a piece of wood and the bumps, the dings are out. Um, I've done this on a scrap bit of wood just to show you because I don't want to be putting things into shafts that I've made because it's a lot more work to clean up but I just thought I'd show you how to take the bumps out of cues with a it's quite easy all you do after that is get a light sand and with some very very fine grade sandpaper and then oil it again and it'll be fine